And we're underway. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. There's been no shortage of build-up for this one, and it looks like it's going to live up to the hype. Two warriors, two superstars, two immense talents. I love it. But regardless, the show has begun. Those shots to the body are beginning to take their toll. Tell me your thoughts on Randy Orton. I can't think of too many superstars that the WWE Universe loves to hate more than this guy. Could you imagine being Randy Orton's opponent just in there waiting, knowing the Viper can strike at any moment? It's got to be nerve-wracking. Well, one of these guys is definitely going to make his mark in the division. Which one? Well, that's yet to be determined. I don't remember the last time he executed that maneuver. He's talking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Yeah, I wonder what the view's like from up there. Oh, take a look at that. We haven't seen that one tonight. I love something new. Just toying with the competition a little. Expanding the repertoire with that move. I like what I'm seeing here from Randy Orton. Looks like Randy Orton has broken a sweat. This could be the start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. And at this point, it looks to me like this match is as even as it could get. Agreed. And you have to wonder where this guy's confidence level is at this point. Hey, going for the cover. Two. Kicks out in time. Uh, just barely in time. That was close, you gotta admit. Well, I've never seen him do that before. Randy Orton gets leveled. This may settle the score right here. When you see Randy Orton, you're looking at a third-generation superstar. He's been known as the legend killer, the viper, and the apex predator. Those are all appropriate for the man who can uncoil at any moment and end an opponent with the RKO. Yeah, you're right. Randy Orton has been known as devious, cold, and calculated. And all of those things are true. He sees opponents as not just someone in a ring he needs to defeat, but someone he must eliminate, sometimes for good. He's not called the apex predator for nothing. He saw that one coming. Oh, man, is he fired up. He's playing a wide range of offense here. King, Randy Orton goes in that ring and takes care of business. He's not worried about making friends or people liking him on social media. Randy Orton wants to dominate this business, and if he has to do it one RKO at a time, he will. Look at the attack here. Oh, man, talk about a direct hit. You can practically feel the wear and tear that's been done throughout this match. And it's Randy Orton able to break free. He's simply reminding him that he's here. Just making his presence felt there. Michael, when you mention Randy Orton's views, you're definitely right. Randy's not in WWE to make friends or gain any form of acceptance from anyone. The Viper is intent on dominating his opponent. He can do it here. I think he's got it. Two. Man, he's got to be running on empty at this point. I'm not sure. He seems to have something left. After the amount of punishment he suffered, it's simply amazing that he's still in this one. He's too busy bragging and boasting the battle into this matchup. Going for the double play with this move. Back into the ring now. He's making a statement here with this attack. Boy, he was able to reverse it. Get out of that. He was able to reverse that. Hey, he's going for it again. Uh-oh. 
The future shock. Yeah, that'll send a shock and knock you into the future. What an impact. That was thunderous. Talk about feeling something through the entire arena. Oh, gosh. Hey, what do you want for your last meal? Well, this might be the worst yet. He better not stay out here too long. The referee's going to count him out. Not this. What a move. Uh-oh. There's the finisher. This should do it right there. I think this thing's over. Two, three. And you can put this singles match in the books. Here's Here we go. <laughs> Get in there and handle business. Reminds me of myself in my younger days. He's sending a message to the entire WWE locker room here. He sees it. And now, looking to put him away. He's too busy bragging and boasting that battle into this matchup. Playing mind games. Yeah, a little intimidating.